Drug overdose deaths in South Carolina are rising at what the state health department describes as an alarming rate. School nurses say for many of them, it's not a matter of if they'll need to respond to an opioid overdose at school, but when. Tonight, WBTV State House reporter Mary Green explains how a new South Carolina law will allow them to now take life-saving actions at school. And in most school districts, it's not an if we have an overdose, but a when. But before this school year, nurses like Dawn McAdams were generally prohibited from administering life-saving opioid overdose reversal medications like Narcan at school. We would have been reliant on our school resource officer to provide the Narcan. Removing any barrier to save a life is an awesome opportunity and a great proactive measure as we work to address overdose prevention in South Carolina. A new state law removes that barrier starting this school year. It allows schools to keep a stock of overdose reversal drugs like Narcan in their supplies of life-saving medications. No one really is probably intending to have an accidental overdose, but it's happening. People are taking pills. They may not know what it is or what it could have in it or where it came from. And as a result of that, we're seeing an increase in accidental overdoses, again, among all populations. The new law also permits school nurses and other trained staff to administer Narcan. In talking with my cohort, of other nurse coordinators. Um, some school districts have been very close to needing Narcan. Mac Adams, president elect of the South Carolina Association of School Nurses, says a grant through DHEC will provide a supply of Narcan to schools that want it starting this year. In Richland School District 2, for example, where Mac Adams works, they'll have Narcan stocked in every school. We could have a, a, a child who mistakenly takes something of their parents. We could have an adult, an employee, a visitor, and this way we will be able to intervene if we suspect they're the victim of an opioid overdose. This new law is actually an expansion of an existing law that allows schools to have a supply of EpiPens on hand for allergic reactions. Mac Adams says this legislation is written broadly enough that it could also allow schools in the future to have a stock of albuterol inhalers for asthma emergencies. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Mary, thank you. The legislation passed at the State House earlier this year without a single vote against it on the floor.